In this problem we're given a regular pentagon which is not drawn to scale so we can't measure it and we're asked to find the angle x. Now we're told that these are congruent triangles which means that they're all the same. Now there's two methods we can use to find x which are fairly standard approaches. Now then method one is to find out angle y to begin with. Now because this is a full circle then that must equal 360 degrees. So y will equal 360 degrees divided by 5 which is 72 degrees. There are five angles there around the centre. They're congruent therefore they're all the same. Now if y is 72 we can then find x because these here must be the same length, so therefore this is an isosceles triangle. So to find x, we would do 180 degrees, take away y, to get the leftover angle, and then divide it by 2. So 180 takes 72 is 108, divided by 2 is 54 degrees. So again, y is 72, we do 180 take away 72 to get the leftover angles and then divide by 2 because there are two of them to get x is 54. So that's option 1. Now option 2 adopts a different approach. Now for option 2, if we consider again our pentagon, Now this pentagon can be split into three separate triangles, each one worth 180 degrees. So I know that the sum of all the angles in a pentagon must equal 540 degrees. So I can find the size of one of the entire angles by doing 540 degrees divided by 5 which is 108 degrees. So one of these entire angles has a value of 108 degrees. Now to find x, if the whole angle there is 108 degrees, then x must be half of that. So x, as, as before, just equals 108 divided by 2, which is 54 degrees. Both methods give the same solution it's up to you to use one that you think is easiest and best for you.